Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I'm unboxing the Electron Level 2 40 Amp Portable EV Charger. This retails for a little over $200. US I'll include a link in the description. And in full disclosure, this was furnished to me by the manufacturer for review purposes, but this is not a sponsored video. So with that said, you may have caught my previous video about the Vortex uh, plug, which is the adapter you'll need if you have an EV that isn't a Tesla and your car is now... Uh, been made compatible. Of course, it's really just a contract with the Tesla supercharger network. So again, Ford, Rivian, uh, GM, many other manufacturers are on board and you want to have one of these in your vehicle. It retails for a little under 200 US dollars because you never want to be in a position where you need juice and can't get it. And well, this just gives you that many more options. So Electron also sent this over. Um, and really, uh, I'll call it a welcome package of sorts to uh, the EV realm because I did just get an EV recently, a video for another time. And these are just staples you want to have and more than one, in my opinion. You know, one for the vehicle. Most EVs come with one, but they're really usually the least desirable um, chargers or I should say power delivery systems you could get for your EV. That's where third-party manufacturers step in, give you many different price points, many different options, features, and we're going to find out what this, uh, I would say, more budget-friendly offering from Electron delivers. So just flip over the box. This is a, a heavy sucker. Um, you can see right here on the side, compatible with all uh, J1772 EVs like my GM, level 2 uh, fast charging speed, IP65 water and dustproof resistance. It needs that anyway since you may be charging and more, more likely than not outside of your garage, 16 feet of cabling. Uh, so that's definitely good info to have. You've got to figure out uh, your NEMA 1455 port in association with that charging process. So something you want to be aware of. Now, this is, again, as I mentioned, NEMA 1450 compatible. You can see the outlet there on the depiction. Uh, and uh, essentially, you're going to, you need one of those. Uh, this is not a hardwired unit. Um, you know, some of these uh, portable units are 40 amps, some are 50. Again, this one is 40. It comes with the mounting plate, the screw and anchor set, and a carry case. The applicable specifications you need to know, it's a little under 11 pounds. Let's go ahead and open this thing up. And again, Electron's reputation is solid. That's part of the reason that when I communicated with them and they wanted to send these things out, I was more than happy to, uh, to cover their products on the channel. Um, you know, EVs are a serious purchase. I mean, these are not typical electronics like I cover. Granted, I do cover a lot of high-end electronics, but that still doesn't amount to tens of thousands of dollars like an automotive purchase does. So when you're entering into the realm of these sort of accessories for your brand new EV, you want to ensure that you have something uh, that has all the highest spec when it comes to standards and safety. After all, um, getting value here, if it ends up being unsafe, isn't value. And that's one of the things I like about Electron. They have all their UL certification listings that are appropriate uh, for a company that's going to be making, again, accessories for probably the most expensive piece of electronics in your life um, for just about everyone out there. So a nice carry case like this already. Uh, I can tell you already that the carry case that came with my GM charger is pathetic, uh, but I don't fault GM too much because after all, they're just doing what they have to to get you through the door. Uh, but let's go ahead and see what this charger looks like. And I will also have a review of another uh, charging system. This won't be the only one. I assume I'm going to be covering more as time passes. So some paperwork from Electron right out of the box and um, just support information and uh, warranty care and the charger itself, uh, which I like that it's it's low profile. After all, it is a portable charger. That's what these are meant to be. Um, Ten and a half pounds and change. Um, you can see the NEMA 1450 head right there. The main unit, which has uh, LEDs to let us know power uh, status, connectivity status, the charging status, and error readout. All applicable things. And I, I can tell you right now firsthand, a lot of chargers have zero readout. So you will not have any way to know what is going on. Um, a lot of the other like charge point ones just have a green light. It's a single LED. So I like that Electron is giving us 
uh, status. It's it's what I kind of expect. Now the other end of this, very thick cabling, if you didn't notice, very, very thick. Uh, so that's a, a nice gauge uh, without me being technical at all, but just knowing that, again, you want this thing to exude more of a premium feel. And from what I've seen with a lot of Tesla hardware, um, specifically their adapters, Tesla's proprietary um, adapters, the official ones for connectivity are are pretty much junk compared to the Electron Vortex. So when it comes to their charging hardware, I have high expectations as well. And I can tell you right now, um, this definitely has nicer build quality uh, than what came with my uh, GM. So, and you know, the Ultium platform pretty much has all the same standard spec accessories, whether you go with something from Chevy or of course Cadillac, that doesn't matter. Um, but I like the little metal release. Um, nice looking plug, has a cap to keep your ports dust, uh, well, I'll say all of the elements out of there. I was going to say just dust and water free, even though we have an IP65 rating, but looks good to me. Again, your mounting hardware and then the wall mount bracket itself is right here. So pretty straightforward. Um, I like that they give you a bracket. Most manufacturers do. The quality of said bracket is really where things come into question, kind of like the travel case, all of the little nuanced things that might seem small, but ultimately end up being big. Now, I do not believe that this unit has Wi-Fi connectivity. I have to double check on that, but that's part of what's nice about these third-party ones, and I know Electron makes them, um, but I don't believe this one has it. And what's cool about that, of course, is that beyond just relying on your car and the app from your manufacturer to see where charging is at, that gets you into the ability to watch charging from your actual power delivery system and then tweak that, dial things in with your actual power provider, your utilities company to get pricing exactly in the sweet spot so you're charging when it's most cost effective. Now, I don't know that this one has that support. Electron, I'm sure, will chime in if I don't myself in the comments of this video. But the time of reviewing, I don't see any support here for Wi-Fi wi excuse me, connectivity. I'm expecting this thing to, to get somewhere between 25 and 30 miles to an hour on charge with level two. Again, 40 amp uh, compatibility, but that's it. Um, it's nice to see these and nice to finally be covering uh, hardware for EVs because this really is not the future, but should be our present just based on how well they perform. Um, and the real limitation used to be uh, obviously range and the ability to charge them. And since both of those things are not a problem anymore, not just in my opinion, but in reality inside the U.S., especially if you're not in a very rural uh, place, then I think, you know, you have to ask yourself, why aren't you driving an EV yet? Unless there's just not one that you actually like that you've driven, which I assure you, there are more than a few you're going to like if you get out there and test them. So kudos to Electron on this charging station. I'm going to get it set up see how it performs. And like I said, more coverage of other EV accessories. And I will be reviewing my EV as well, if you didn't already see that coming. And talking about vehicle to home power solutions, all that stuff, since GM is at the forefront. Um, and I'm tempted to jump in. Any questions or comments, please feel free to post them at that like button. And as usual, please feel free to subscribe and please stay safe. Later.